Okay, so I just had the weirdest dream ever. Um, so it started out, um, I was like this hunter of demon, I just woke up, <laughs> sorry, and, um, I was like this hunter of demon babies, and they were like solid gray with like these blue white eyes they were underneath people's beds and what I did was I shot them like I killed them but before they were little demon babies they were like kittens and um I saved this one cat I don't remember what I named it but it was like a little brown and orange cat and I saved it before it turned into like a demon baby and then there was another cat that I saved and I was going to save it and its brother but the brother turned into a demon cat so it was this white fluffy gray cat it was cute and um Cass and G was my best friend and um I my family owned this restaurant on the street and well, like, I got, me and Cassim was driving me home, and I got to the street, and it was blocked off by cops, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? And my whole entire family died, and this, like, the only thing that was left was this gray cat, and, oh, shit, and I was like, okay, like, whatever, that's cool, like, oh, well, I mean, it wasn't cool that my family was dead, but I was, like, bawling, and, and Kasim was like, okay, um, I'm going to take you to this thing, this table gallery. And I was like, what the fuck is a table gallery? So he takes me to this thing, and I have this purse with me, and I'm sitting in the back seat, and this door won't stay shut. And, like, I'm on the left side, so, like, the driver's side. And, uh, and Kasim brings his, like, friend who I don't even, I never even saw him, um, but he's sat in the front, and we get to this table gallery thing, and it's like three stories, it's like, it's like a warehouse kind of looking thing, and there's like no one parked up front, so we park kind of far away, like, I don't know why this dream is so vivid, but it was, like we parked kind of far away um, from the entrance, at least like 10 or 15 feet no not 10 or 15 feet like 20 or 30 feet that's more accurate and um so we walk into this gallery and basically all it is is like ping pong tables with like like sometimes like there were ping pong balls on them like cut in half or like they had like little parts taken out of them and basically it was just like whatever and Cassim started like playing a pong or whatever with them and the lady that was owning it was like what are you doing this is art this is like what the hell are you doing I'm gonna like I'm gonna send my dinosaur out on you and he was like okay okay I won't do it and um like, and she was dead serious. She was going to send this fucking dinosaur out if, like, we kept touching her stuff. So, we go through the first floor, and then we walk up to the second floor. I don't remember what was on the second floor. But on the third floor, it was, like, she, it was her furniture that she designed. And it was really cool. It was really cool furniture. There was this, like, curtain with an eyeball on it, and it looked really cool. And, um, stop it. And, uh. shit okay yeah and there was like really cool furniture everywhere and it was awesome but like people kept touching her stuff and she was like don't touch my stuff like this isn't for sale this isn't like whatever don't touch it and so like and then she had like a little area where clothes were designed or whatever and somebody like pulled it one out of like the rack and like put it up against them she was like that's it and she sends out this huge fucking dinosaur. And everyone's panicking. Like, everyone is panicking. And so, basically, what happens is we all hide. And we have to come up with a plan to get out. And he, he's like, well, we can't go. 
down through the main gallery because she has another dinosaur on the floor. And so we're like, fuck, all right. Um, and then we found an emergency exit. And we started to haul ass. And I'm like, well, wait a second. Where's my purse? Like, I don't know why it was so important that I needed to have it. But, like, where's my purse? And so somebody hands it to me. And we're hauling ass down the stairs. And then we get to the outside. And we're like, okay, let me explain this to you. Here's, like, the whole building, right? The front entrance, like, here. And we're parked, like, way over here. The like emergency exit is like it's like on the other side of the entrance yeah it's like almost right there and it's like you know those emergency exit doors you know with the push thing and um <clears throat> we start hauling ass to the thing and I'm wearing heels and I'm like okay I lost my purse again my purse is gone and um so I Somebody hands my purse to me again, and I get in the car, and the door won't close, and I'm just, like, freaking out. And, like, these people, the other people that were there, there were, like, four other people there. They get into this, like, solid white taxi. Like, the windows are white. Everything's white. And with a little, like, taxi logo on top. That wasn't white. It was like, yellow. And um, we get in Casper's car, and I'm, like, trying to hold the door shut, and I'm, like are driving away and I was like it's not too much of an inconvenience I have to pee so if you could pull over at the next like gas station or restaurant or whatever I really have to go and I'm like okay and then I regained consciousness yeah is that weird it's kind of weird okay I'm gonna go I just had to get that down I love your face I hope you're having a good day um, it's like 4 p.m. and I just woke up. So yeah, that explains my sleep schedule. Alright, I'm going. I love you.